How to get insurance to cover plumbing. Now, as a plumber, this is something I see all the time because we specialize in slab leaks and leak detection. Leak Pro. Now, can you get insurance to cover any problems you have under the slab? Well, I've seen all kinds of crazy things over the years that I've done plumbing. So in this video, we're gonna jump in and talk about different problems you can have and is it covered by insurance and what does your plumber need to know to make sure that you are covered. Make sure you stay till the end and I'll tell you how to word things to find out if you're really covered for something or not. Okay, first things first, you need to document anything and everything that you see that may be caused by a leak under your slab. Now, this could literally start by just your meter spinning and well, there's nothing going on inside the house. Or it could be that you've got water damage inside the house and you're not sure where that came from. Now, this could be water damage to your flooring, to your carpet, or maybe to the baseboards, anything near where water may be coming up. Now, a lot of times, that's how people discover it. To be honest, one of the most unique leak discoveries was by a lady who called me and says, look, I think I've got a leak under the house. I said, okay, what makes you think that? And she says, well, my dog has started laying in this certain spot in the floor every day. And when I walked by the other day, he wasn't there. So I took off my shoes and felt the floor and it was really, really hot. Well, that's a very good sign that you may have a leak on your hot water side near that area. And that's exactly what it was. Now, one thing that can happen too, and the reason I talk about documentation is I went into a house one time and one thing that I always ask is, have you had any water damage in the past that may be associated with this. And they're like, yes, as a matter of fact, just a couple of months ago, we noticed that the baseboard over here looked bad. So we took it off, we sanded it down, we cleaned it up, we replaced a little sheetrock behind it, noticed it was a little wet, but we thought maybe somebody had just spilled something and not said anything. They fixed it and then this problem came back again. Now, the problem is they didn't document it when they first fixed it. And when it came back again, they heard noises, but it hadn't caused any damage yet. Problem is, there was no documentation. They didn't take pictures. They didn't open it up. They didn't go a little further with it. And, well, they didn't call me. But here's the thing. We were able to go in and prove by opening that up that there was still damage on the inside. Now, you want to make sure that you're dealing with a plumber that understands what insurance companies are looking for and make sure that you don't say the wrong thing. And I don't mean say the wrong thing by, by say anything that's not true, but you want to make sure that you understand how to word things. So sometimes dealing with the right plumbing company can make all the difference in the world. And one thing you need to remember is you need to do everything you can to stop the damage immediately. Now, I remember one time I went out to a lady's house. She had a leak in about 12 feet from the outside of the house. Now, that can be an expensive repair. I get that. She didn't have the money at the time. And she had already spoken to her insurance company and found out that she wasn't covered. But to be honest, I think she'd, if she'd have talked to me first, she probably would have been. She went a year of just turning the water off to her house and only turning it on when she needed it. And I kept telling her, look, this could lead to problems because every time you turn that water on, it's washing away dirt. It's eroding it away from your foundation. If you've got problems, you need to try to stop that problem immediately. Don't let it just keep happening. If you've got a leak in a wall, you've got a leak under a slab and it's coming up in a wall, you need to figure out what to do to help stop that problem immediately. That way, it doesn't get any worse. Now, one thing you don't want to do when you see any damage is call your insurance company immediately and say, look, I've got water damage. Again, stay till the end because I'm going to tell you how to word this to keep you out of trouble. Now, what can you actually expect to get covered? Well, it would probably be more than you think. Now, when it comes to the repair itself, I want to let you know the only thing an insurance company will not cover is the repair itself. Now, granted, this is depending on how your policy is written, but they will pay for the location, the testing, access and egress, meaning they will pay you to dig up under the house to where the problem is and put all the dirt back in when it's done, which is really one of the most expensive parts of the whole process. But we're going to break that down because 
think about this. You've got crews that come over, dig a tunnel up under there, and this is after the plumber's already done leak testing, leak location, verified where it is. Now another crew comes over and digs out a ton of dirt to get to where it is. Now the plumber comes in, puts plastic down, gets everything ready for it. Then he turns off the water, cuts out the little section of pipe, and replaces it. That's the part they won't pay for, no matter what. They're not going to pay for the repair. But they will pay for everything else, which is the most expensive part. To be honest, most of the repairs I've done under a house have probably been able to be repaired in just about 15 to 30 minutes, maybe an hour. But it's getting there. It's testing. It's location. Look, Leak Pro equipment gets us right where we're supposed to be, but it does not dig the hole to get us all the way over to the problem. So that's how you'll do it if it's tunneled under. Now, here's another thing. What if they've got a hole in the middle of the house and it's really, really expensive to tunnel in from the outsides? They may want to go through the floor, just jackhammer it up, dig it up, make the repair and put it all back. I get that. We've done that a lot. But here's the thing when we're talking about what all's covered. If you've got beautiful hardwood floors here that are maybe 10 years old, 15 years old, 50 years old, these floors may not be able to be matched. So they don't want you to come in and cut a square because then guess what? They're going to have to come in and replace all the hardwood floors in this house. And if it hasn't damaged the floor, why cut a hole in it? At that point, they may say, look, we understand it's more expensive to tunnel in from the outside, but it's going to be a lot less expensive than replacing all the hardwood floors. Now, one other option in a way that sometimes they want us to do or cut holes in the walls once we find out where the manifolds are, where it loops from this one to this one underneath. And if it's possible, go up overhead, loop it overhead. That way you're not tunneling under the house and you're not cutting holes open in the middle of the floor. Okay, so this is what I said to hang around to the end for because this is the most important part. How do you talk to insurance companies? Well, first of all, if you think you have a policy, I recommend calling your insurance agent. And you call your insurance agent and say, look, I just need to find out if hypothetically I have a problem. If they say, well, why are you asking? Say, well, you know what? My neighbor had this problem. If I've got water damage in my house that I see, does my insurance policy cover it? Does my insurance policy cover the problem? Does it cover the repair? What all does it cover? Any one of us, including me, when we shop insurance, we're looking for the best price normally. Unfortunately, we should be looking for the best value. You want to make sure that you are covered for things like this. Here's the thing. Most of the time, if you have a problem, if you already have damage inside your house, your insurance policy is going to cover it. They are going to pay to fix whatever is causing this damage to the inside of your house. So you want to make sure that you look at it. One thing that I ask homeowners every time I come out for a slab leak or anything like this is I've got a question. Have you ever had a problem in this area that was caused by water? Because it could be that maybe it was raining really heavy outside and between that and the leak you have under your house, the slab leak had nowhere to go to. So that water rose up into your house and caused problems. Normally, if a situation like that happens and you word it the right way to your insurance company, you will be covered. Now, one thing you do not want to do is call your insurance agent immediately and say, hey, look, I've got a slab leak. I've got a problem. Am I insured? Because whether you're insured or not, that's going to be a report of water damage to your house. Even if a plumber comes out and says, hey, you don't have a leak. Somebody spilled water here. Something happened. Once you tell that insurance company you've got a slab leak or you've got a water leak or you've got water damage, that's going to be on your insurance policy. Your insurance policy is going to go up. And to be honest, even if you never get a dollar from that, from your insurance company, you've reported water damage. It's on your report and your insurance is going up from now on. Now, if you've ever had an insurance problem like this, do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know as a homeowner, was it covered? And if you're a plumber, were you able to talk to the insurance company? I've done that many, many times. I've met the insurance companies out at jobs and explained to them. One of my favorite tricks, when they tell me, Roger, how can you prove this just now happened and caused this problem? I turn it around to them and say, how can you prove that it didn't? 
because I've been plumbing over 40 years. And if you can prove something like that, I want to know how you do it. Guys, learn to talk to insurance companies if you're a homeowner or a plumber. If you're a plumber, taking care of your customers by talking to the insurance company the right way is one of the greatest things you can learn how to do. You guys, remember when it comes to slab leaks and leak detection? Well, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. We think Leak Pro is the best leak detection equipment for plumbers when you're looking for leaks on the domestic water line. Now, you can go to www.leakpro.com to check out the equipment, but also, if you're a plumber, there's training there. Send your plumbers out here, go through the training, learn how to use the equipment, and learn to increase the bottom line at your company by bringing on a better service that's gonna help your customers even more. Go check it out at leak-pro.com. Check out the equipment and check out the training. Guys, if you love this video, I definitely think you're gonna like this one too.